Welcome back to another naval action video. We continue our uh, naval action painter DLC series, and today we're gonna have a quick look at all these six rates or rank sixes in the game. First up, we have our nice little brick. It's the first on the list, so set it as main. You need to set the ship that you want to view the color of as main. Go under your redeemables, select your naval action painter, press redeem. And then you can select from the list first the rank and then your ships as i said in the first video remember as soon as you press ok down here this selection will be the paint it puts into your warehouse so remember if you don't want to select that paint press the x on the button to close the window don't press ok to leave so here's the brick first up in its basic colors and it has a few options <laughs> No, not really. It has a single one, and once again, it's the uh, name I butcher as I try to pronounce it, but it's the black and white paint job um, with a nice dark gray outline, or bluish gray actually, white masks, and everything else. It does change the, quip, uh, the ship, the quip, the ship quite a lot, but I do like this color. But that's the only one available for the uh, brick um, beside the basic paint job. Next one up on the list is the mortar brick. So we find it as a list, set it as main. Make sure it changes. Open your DLC up. I have found that changing ships while the DLC is open means that it doesn't update in game and doesn't allow you to preview the ship. So shut it down, open it back up. So the basic color of the uh, motor brick is this uh, ochre color. The first one available is the motor brick, or no, the motor brick black master colors. A um, bit more powdery looking with the black and red outlines. Um, again, I wish they changed the ochre colored mast out, but then again, that's just me. You have uh, another option for the motor bricks, and that is once again the bane of my pronunciation, uh, the uh, black gray paint job. You know, there's no white outline as many of the other variants of this same um, color name or paint name. Personally, I prefer the uh, black master. But that's the colors for the motor brick. Next up on the list is the mercury. Just find it in my name anyway. So press main, change it up to Mercury, open it back on DLC. And here comes the Mercury. Mercury has uh, four options, and we'll go through them. First one up is wood, and it looks like this. Bit more muted colors than the, um, the vanilla colors, um, but I do quite like it. And as we get into ships uh, uh, of this size and up, we do tend to change the details on the stern gallery. Quite a nice little ship. Next up is called White Line. You can kind of see why. Get a blackish color with a white outline, green interior, but also note the green bottom. Um, the stern gallery detail has been changed, all grayed out more or less. Then there's the next paint job called Classic. Uh, a cover bottom, black sides with a white line again, green interior, uh, but now we have white details on the rear. The details on the ship as such don't change, but the color of the details might. Good color for this ship, uh, in my opinion. Last one up, there we go again. It's like they're teasing me with this. Um, once again, with this uh, paint scheme, we have the white outline back, but a bit more detail has gone into the uh, minor white line and the stern gallery itself. Um, red interior and white outlines and white mask. I do like this color scheme or not. And you see it when we come to the uh, fifth rates and the Indium, and this is my preferred Indium color. But that's all the options for the Mercury. Next up on the list is the navy brick. So we'll set that one up as our main, the navy brick. 
open up the DLC. So that's the navy brick. A cute little paint job on the vanilla one, but as we come into this, here's um, one of the more classic pirate colors with the black hole and the red outlines. Um, the muted colors on the mast and bowsprit and such. Neat little one, not much color on the stern. And the last one up is again the unnameable paint job. Coming back to the white mast and bowsprit and arms and the white outline on a black hull. Again, not much detail on the stern of it. So that's the two colors for the navy brick. Uh, next up uh, on the list is the Niagara. I'm gonna close that one down, find the ship in my navy list. All these ships were uh, created for this series, unless it's my own ships, are just created out of uh, crew space. It's just basically to show them off and then crash them, of course. Now the vanilla paint job on the Enneagara is um, artistic, or let's just say colorful. Um, <laughs> definitely not my kind of thing. Um, so let's see what options we have in here. First one up is called Classic White. So a big broad outline of white, red trims on the gun ports and a um, black line and a brown hull, blue on the inside. Now the ship itself doesn't have that much detail without the nameplate on the rear. But this is definitely a step up. And the Rouge Noir as the second option, once again going back for that bit more classic uh, hook, uh, pirate theme of a black hull with red outlines. Um, and just for a bit of contrast, the blue interior. The name still colored out in yellow. And that's the two options for the uh, Niagara. Next up on the line, we have the Prince de Neufchatel. Which I do enjoy sailing, I must admit. This is a fun little ship. Vanilla paint job, yellow lines on a black hole with a copper bottom and green on the inside. Let's find it in the list. And the first color up is called Baltimore. A uh, bit of a muted color. Now the sun is setting. I'm just gonna finish the princess colors off and then I'm gonna do a cut before we take the next ship, get it back to daylight. But Baltimore up with these uh, almost tannish color on the outside, um, pinkish on the inside of the trim. Um, on the sides, um, don't prefer that that much. Black Prince is up next, and this is my preferred color for the Prince. Light uh, interior, but the black and very dark gray on the outside. Um, the sun is setting heavily, so I'm gonna put in a cut before we do the next two colors on the Prince. Be right back. Right, and back we are, uh, short. The sun has uh, finally come up on the horizon again, and we can once again see what we're doing. All right, as I said, the Black Prince uh, color scheme, uh, I do like that one. Very menacing and like the muted colors. The third uh, option for the uh, Prince is the classic white, which is a very white paint scheme, but a broad white stripe uh, and white mask and details red interior and not much going on on the rear the fourth and last one is called gray wolf and on the prince this is my favorite it looks pretty much like the um like the black prince color scheme uh, but that muted outline on the etching there just makes it pop a bit more i do like that one but either gray wolf black prince uh, is my favorite for this ship but four options the baltimore um to show that off again but uh, greenish color on the outline 
and a darker moss uh, and a colored interior. That's the prints. Next up comes the rattlesnake. Let's go find it in our navy. A plum little vessel. Nice details, nice basic colors actually. I do like the stone details on it. Um, not overly flashy, but still. And the uh, big old rattlesnake on the front. Once again, open back uh, back, uh, back into the uh, painted DLC. Now the first one up is called Lively. Basically just adds a few details of color and the green and blue and such on the rear. Um, changes the rear as well to blue. Uh, a bit more colorful. Next up we have Checker Blue. Again, changing up both interior deck coloring and side colors with a broad yellow line, a blue detail line, silver at gun ports, and grayed at the rear. Um, very good color. Then it's the Outlaw. Now, the Rattlesnake is one of the few ships where you can actually get dark sails on. Um, I mean, this just screams Pirates of the Caribbean, doesn't it? Caribbean, Caribbean. Please don't start that debate in the comments. Anyway, um, but very much the vision of a badly maintained um, privateer or pirate ship. And um, very foreboding to see this come and bearing down on you if you're out in your trade ship. I like this color scheme, the Outlaw. The last one, once again, the name I don't know how to pronounce. Um, coming back to the black and white details, um, broad white line, thin red line, white details around the ship, white mast and such, and a black and white rear. Once again, very pretty um, color scheme in my opinion. And it uh, it's very um, in common with the uh, USS Constitution colors. So that's four options for the rattlesnake, uh, the lively, the checkerbrew, the outlaw, and the one I'm not going to say. Next up on the list is the big brother of the rattlesnake, is the rattlesnake heavy. Bit more color on the vanilla ship, actually not a bad paint job. Um, a bit more of a planar ship to look at uh, when it comes to details and such, but... Still a good ship. I do, I do like most of the ships in game aesthetically, and um, most of them actually have a performance in their own area that's worth playing around with. Anyway, pirate green is the first one up. Again, the uh, muted, slightly badly maintained uh, look or weathered look, if you want to call it, but with the uh, off white and a green line uh, coming across. Not a bad look for the rattlesnake heavy. Then it's called a lemon blue. Obviously incorporating the uh, yellow of a sit. Wait a minute, that's not lemon. Anyway, yellow and blue uh, details with a bit more white, red on the inside on the uh, on the deck there. Um, very colorful uh, color scheme. Next up, classic white. Uh, very broad white line on the side, white on the rear. A um, few more yellowy details around and red on the inside. Not a bad color either. The last one is again the outlaw color. Uh, black sails, heavily weathered, dark ship, very cat and barbose ish. Um, so yeah, I do like that color on them. Fun little ships to go pirating in. So that's the Rattlesnake Heavy. Next up on the list. Now, if you go through the ship list in here, you'll see the Le Requin or Le Requin or whatever. But that's a DLC ship. You notice the um, the eye there behind it. It's called. It says imported. So that's a DLC ship. I'm not going to show that off as I mentioned in the first episode. 
So next up on the list is the snow. I have to close down the DLC and open it back up. I do find that a bit slightly annoying, but uh, and once again, the one we will not name the black and white outline as we've come to know it from other ships um not much to say on it really it's a good color uh for me personally and then there's unite as the other one uh, a bit more bluish gray on the uh hull there and a salmony color on the side a few more brownish uh outlines sorry for that one Maintenance 30 minutes, we should be done before. Uh, but a bit more salmon and brownie colors on the outline. So that's the snow. Two ships are missing from the list, and we'll go to them now. And the next one up is the trade brig. Now, the trade brig is going to be one of your starting traders when it comes to it. They're fairly easy to capture and get a hold of. And has its uses especially in shallow waters as we go into our dlc find it in the list and see what we can do with it trade brick and the first one is again the name i can't pronounce again a black and white uh, paint job red on the uh, inside there for a bit of detail Good color on the window into the captain's quarters, um, captain's cabin, but a very bland ship, honestly. And that's the only options you have for the trade brig. So it's either vanilla or the black and white. Last one in the rank six list is the trade snow. Let me just find it in my list right there in front of my eyes close down the DLC open it back up six and trade snow again starting as a very plum yellowy trader in very vanilla colors again it has the option to go with the uh, black and white color scheme and it has the Unite. Again, the blue is gray with the salmon colored and more brownish uh, mast and stuff. And that is all of the six great ships, except for the imported ships. So a few more colors to play around with as you come out of your starting position and uh, move into uh, six rate and a few first traders. Um, it's a bit more niche thing to use paint on these ships as you will quickly progress up to fifth raids but it's nice to have the option just for those collecting and maybe role playing a bit more anyway that was all the um six the uh, class ships hope you uh, found the video just a bit helpful and um if you did comment like dislike um let me know how I put your names or something like that in the comment section below. And then in the next episode, we're going to take a look at all the fifth class ships. Uh, as a bit more longer of a list, a few more ships to cover. Um, and a few more options you know, when it comes to the color scheme. Hope you enjoy it. And uh, as I said, don't forget the bottoms below. Until next time, stay safe.